Hello, are you tired of finding inaccurate protocols in the internet? Or do you want to communicate with other students and researchers around the globe? Well, do I have a solution just for you? What is it? Well, we'll find out after a short break. Go here to learn more. Yes, the GLOBE program. What is it and what does it have to do with the science and research? Hello, I'm a GLOBE student, vlogger, and researcher from the Philippines. Since it's our first time meeting each other, of course, I'll first introduce myself. I'm Andrew Joshua and I'm 14 years old and I'm one of GLOBE's newest student vloggers. Of course, I'm a proud Filipino and I do editing and gaming as my main hobbies. But of course, enough about me, let's go to our main topic. What is the GLOBE program? GLOBE, or the Global Learning and Observations to Benefit the Environment, is a global initiative focused on the environment, which is now present in over 120 countries. Students and teachers from around the world collaborate with scientists from a variety of organizations to gather data and to conduct analysis, and their work is made available on the GLOBE website. The GLOBE program aims to teach young students how to conduct experiments using actual tests and equipment. Several other organizations also support the GLOBE program, for example in the United States and of course around the world. Now of course GLOBE is in all studying and research. GLOBE has lots and lots of activities for their students and even instructors. Even the teachers can enjoy the learning and activities they put together. This, this is the GLOBE Student Exchange Youth Camp held in Bangkok, Thailand. This is one I've actually been to. And together with my classmates, I have managed to present our research about, you guessed it, the atmosphere. I was actually involved in this activity and me and my classmates flew to Thailand just to attend this activity which was held in the WEEC 2019. We met lots of friends, a lot of international friends actually, met lots of new friends and we learned so much about Thailand's diverse culture. But of course, we didn't only learn about their culture, we also learned how they applied science into their everyday lives. Not only just to improve wildlife and to improve their own lives, but to also benefit the environment as well. This was one of the best activities I've been to um, from GLOBE since this was my very first time going abroad. Which was at first really nerve-wracking because I didn't know what to expect, but I really had so much fun. Usually, GLOBE's activities are connected to these campaigns they always they already have. For example, in GLOBE Ireland, where, where they held an online event uh, to commemorate the end of the 2019 to 2020 air quality campaign. Now, from this campaign, students and teachers collaborate from Ireland, from the Irish GLOBE community, where they collected lots and lots of data from their different locations. If I remember correctly, students have collected over 230 nitrogen dioxide measurements, which, which is mind-blowing. And the Globe Irish community as a whole has collected over 2,800 data points and have put it into the data visualizer of Globe, which is a massive number to think about. Since we've been talking about all these scientific data collected and entered into the GLOBE system, what do us GLOBE students do to actually get these data? Well, we collect them with, with protocols. Protocols? What are they? Maybe we'll find out next time we meet. But anyways, GLOBE has these wonderful protocols based on scientific data and evidence. These protocols are usually followed by us GLOBE students to ensure that the data we enter into the GLOBE uh, data entry is accurate. Speaking of data visualizer and from previous statements, I did mention this entering data to a system and all that. Did you know GLOBE has a wonderful system called the GLOBE ADAT or the Advanced Data Access Tool? This tool helps you to retrieve data from different places where GLOBE students have collected data. 
But if you're already a member and you want to have data of your own, how do you get your data with protocols? And where do you put your data? Well, Globe has the right stuff just for you. Globe has wonderful apps like Globe Observer and Globe Data Entry just for your own convenience. Anyways, Globe has much more to offer. That's why I suggest you to check out their uh, website, globe.gov, to, to possibly become a Globe student or even a Globe teacher or instructor where you can be involved in many activities with these wonderful organizations. And that's it. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, do leave a like and subscribe and comment down below what you want to learn next from the Globe program. This has been Andre, the Globe Student Vlogger. See you next time. Paalam!